Previously, we looked at Task Manager, and we saw that you could add um, informational tabs uh, to the processes list here. Um, what I want to do now is look at um, how to see some of that information from the command line. So we'll uh, open a command prompt. And just so we can see things a little better, I'm going to go into the properties. And we're going to change the font size uh, a little bit bigger so it'll be easier for you to see. And we're going to run a, make a command called task list. And it's all one word. So task list with no space in there. And we'll go ahead and run that. And we'll see kind of the information that runs across the screen. Uh, to stop it from doing that, we could scroll up since we're in a terminal. Um, but we can also use the pipe command, the straight up and down uh, symbol on your keyboard. And we're going to pipe in the command more, which lets us view the information one screen at a time. Uh, so as we do more, we can see the first page uh, of information, uh, and we can look here and see the first column of information we're seeing is, is the image name uh, or the program that's running uh, the actual name. The PID is the process ID uh, that it happens to be running. We're going to use this later. Um, the session name, the session number, which is the session on the system. Uh, and then how much memory uh, that application or program is using. So as we look through here, um, you'll see um, the session number here. We've got at least three different sessions, 0, 1, uh, and 2. Um, so if we want to see a little bit more about that, there's another command we can use. Um, called query and we're going to query the sessions on the system so if we use query session uh, we can get uh, the idea that hey all the Windows services that are running are going to be that ID 0 um, user 1 uh, is logged in and that's session 1 and we have another user logged in called admin uh, and so they're going to be session 2 and that's why you see in this session number um, it kind of sorts what processes belong to what users are to the system on here. Um, so we're, we are user one, so we've got session one, and we see Notepad is running here. Um, and it's with process ID um, 8344. Okay, so we're going to use that. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And you can see Notepad is running down here, but I'll open it. Uh, and let's say before we saw a task list how if you had a process that was locked up or was giving you problems, uh, you could actually end that task. So we have another command called task kill, all one word again. And knowing the process ID, we can use this, the argument or parameter slash PID, which is process ID, and then uh, fill in. Uh, that process ID. So this is going to be for Notepad uh, on our system. And let's run that and we should see uh, Notepad uh, go away. Uh, so we killed that process using the process ID from the task list command. Uh, so you can, you can do all that from the command line. Uh, let's start Notepad again because I want to look at it one more time. And actually this time I'm going to go ahead and open another uh, window of it. So we have two windows open uh, and we can verify that by kind of hovering over the, the icon here. And we see that we've got two instances open for two different documents. Um, and we're going to do our uh, task list command again so we can see what these processes are. And as we get to the bottom here, we're going to look for Notepad. And let's see, we have one here. Uh, so we've got two different process IDs still uh, from our session. Um, and so there's another way to, to do task kill. So I'm going to do task kill. And this time we can actually use the image name. So we're going to use the slash im. Um, 
argument or parameter. And this time I'm, I'm going to use the image name. So I'm going to type in notepad.exe and move the mouse so you can see that. Um, so I'm using this name, but notice uh, if I wanted to, to kill a particular instance of this, I would need to go back and use the, the process ID to get one or the other of these. Uh, if I use the name, uh, the name is the same. So what we expect to happen is, is all the instances of Notepad on, for, for me are, are going to be uh, terminated. So let's go ahead and run that command. And uh, pretty much what we expected, it sent that uh, kill signal uh, to both processes uh, and killed uh, both of those processes with their process ID. Um, so just a couple of things you can do from the command line that gives you a similar functionality to some of the things you might be doing in Task Manager.